Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my first paycheck of January 2020. This is so crazy to say if you guys are interested in seeing what my budget looks like and how I break it down, then keep on watching. What I like to do when I plan out my budget is use these paycheck worksheets and these are available on my Etsy shop and they are only available in the budget printable. So it's the full year and currently that's all that I have it as available this particular layout. I do have other ones available if you just want the monthly in a paycheck. But I like to start off with looking at what my beginning balance was before I received the paycheck. So you have to factor that in and break it down when, with, for your expenses. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started writing this in. And I will try my best to zoom in because I did get some requests to do that. Um, so hopefully you can see what I'm writing more clearly. So the beginning balance on my account is $34.91. And the total paycheck that we had received was $1,201.81. So the total income is the both of them added together. So you're going to take the $34.91. So whatever your beginning balance is in your account and you're gonna add in the paycheck amount. So the total income is $1,236.72. And now moving on to probably the most important part of my budget and that is the giving portion. So I am a firm believer of giving 10% of your income. So for the paycheck, what I what our goal is, is to separate things into percentages um, because I'm one where I just never knew how much I should be setting aside in my cash envelopes, how much I should be setting aside in savings account or anything like that. So what is recommended by Jordan Page is to live off of 70% of what you make. So sometimes my paychecks fluctuate a little bit. So I obviously take care of the necessities first and then whatever is remaining then I will factor it in but if it's a paycheck that I is a little bit more I'll see if I can tighten up my budget a bit so I like to live off of 80% of what my income is and so let's see what 80% of the total paycheck income is so 1201.81 times 80% so $961.45 is what 80% is. So the other 20 will be split up 10% to giving and the other 10% can be used towards savings, towards paying off debt or whatever your goal is. So that is what our goal is for this particular paycheck to be within that amount. So 10% for tithe is $121. And then for the offering, we're setting aside $10 here. So 131 is what we are going to be setting aside for this paycheck for giving. So now let's get into the bill tracker. The bill tracker, this is where I break down my bills based on how many times I get paid in a month. And I wrote in all of the dates that I get paid and how much I wanna set aside for each of these expenses. So what I'm gonna do, since this is a ninth, I'm just gonna go down this column and write in all of the expenses. I just did this one, which is the ministry that we set aside $20 a month. So that's what that $10 is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write in here what I'm gonna be setting aside for the expenses. ID theft, 1290. And I literally just go down this list, so it makes it super simple. Okay. Um, the credit card. $1,000. 
2404 our electric bill and then the HOA we're setting aside $12.00 and 75 cents. So this completes everything for my bill tracker here. And then I did have to load my Sun Pass, which was $16.27. Gas, we're setting aside $120. So there's a balance remaining from the last paycheck. So I'm just gonna leave it in the bank account just in case we end up using a little bit more gas than normal. And then I'm also factoring in a cushion. So it's just gonna be $17 plus the change that was remaining in the bank account. So $17.87 is what I am leaving. So now let's go ahead and just add this up. Okay, so the total was $690.05. My cushion, I might have to change the cents just a bit. I did it on a separate sheet of paper just to prepare for this video, but I might have been off by like three cents here. But that's okay, let's see. So we're gonna take the income, 1236.72. We're gonna subtract the 131. And then we're gonna subtract the 690.05. So this leaves us with a remaining balance of $415.67. So I'm just gonna focus right now on my cash envelope portion of this. So <clears throat> since we have $690.05, remember what I mentioned about the 80% rule? 672 times 80%. So I'm doing it based off this income, not this one. So 989.38 is what we have to be within that 80% of what we're living off of for the expenses. So if we subtract what our total expenses are for here, which is 690.05, that leaves us with $299.00 to break down into cash envelopes. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to use all of that money for the cash envelopes, okay? But if you have specific goals like we do, you may wanna set it aside for specific categories. So these are the ones that I am breaking down right now for my particular budget. The first one is groceries. The next one is our anniversary. I'm trying to do this in alphabetical order, so I'm gonna try my best. Um, car maintenance. Then we have Christmas. Uh, date night. Eating out. Um, we have home. Pet, spending money, toiletries, and vacation. So for groceries, we always set aside $75. However, we did have to go to the grocery store before I went to withdraw the funds. So we used I want to say it was like $40, 42, something like that. So I withdrew in cash $32. That's what's remaining for my $75 budget. Our anniversary, we're setting aside $10 for that. Car maintenance, we're setting aside $25. Christmas for next year or for this year, uh, we're setting aside $27. Date night, we're also setting aside 27. Eating out, we're gonna take out 40. Home, we're taking out 10. 
pack because we do have to buy um, our dogs food pretty soon. We just bought them food. Um, it's usually around like $13, $14. So I'm just gonna take out 20. Spending, this is for both my husband and I. $30 for that. Toiletries is 10. And then vacation is 20. All right, so let's go ahead and just add up the total cash part. 75 plus 10 plus 25, 27, 27, 40, 10, 20, 30, plus another 30. So 294 is the total cash. However, we are only gonna be taking out 251 because remember, we're only taking $32 out here. So let's take the remaining, the 415.67, and we're gonna subtract the 294 that we planned out. So remember I mentioned the 80-20 rule, that that's our goal. So 80%, we've already done that here. 690 plus 294 is 80% of what the total income is here. So 10% we've already figured out is $121. So the other 10% to complete our 100% um, is $121. So that's how much we're gonna be putting back into our emergency fund because I have to refund that because we as I mentioned prior, we had used um, some of the funds for our car and I do wanna replenish that. So we're not paying anything extra as of right now for this paycheck, anything extra to debt. So if you understood that, you want me to go more into detail about why I'm doing the 80-20 thing or to really break that down a little more in depth, let me know in the comment section down below to go into more detail on another video. So now that I have my cash envelopes all ready, um, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what my denominations are. So I'm gonna start first with my tithe of $121. So that's 100, a 20, and a one. For here, the groceries, we're just taking out $32 in cash. So 20, 30, one, and two. Anniversary is 10. Car maintenance is 25. Christmas is 25, six, seven. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh well. Date night is 25, six, seven. Eating out is 20, 40. 10 for home, 20 for pet. 10, 15, 10, 15 for 30, 10 for toiletries, and then 20 for vacation. So we have one $100 bill, nine twenties, six tens, five fives, and seven ones to stuff the cash envelopes. So I have my one $100 bill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, tens. One, two, three, four, five, fives. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ones. So now let's move on to the cash stuffing portion of the video. Okay, so the first envelope that I'm gonna be stuffing is my giving envelope, which based on my budget is $121. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the one, 20, one, and that completes this cash envelope from being stuffed. And now let's move on to the actual cash envelopes in this portion. So some of these are split between these cash envelopes and also the ones that are in my wallet. So 
So I'm gonna go between the two. First one is my groceries, which is in my wallet. So groceries says that I should have $36 in here after stuffing the cash envelopes. So I had used my debit card at Aldi for $43, and we're gonna go ahead and stuff $75, or $75 came from the paycheck. So the difference is $32. So we're gonna go ahead and take the 20, the 30, 31, 32. So there's 32. 3, 34, 35, 36. So this does match that cash envelope. So now moving on to the next one is the anniversary, which is getting $10. So let me get my anniversary envelope, which is here. And that is getting $10. So there's currently $18 in this envelope. Yep. Slowly but surely, we are gonna be stuffing and filling this envelope. The next one is my car maintenance, which is getting $25. So I have that in this envelope as well. We do have to have some work done on my car and also my husband. So that's the plan for using this cash envelope. So 25 plus 45, 50. So let's do the 20 and the five. <clears throat> and let's just verify if there's 70. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. So that one is good. The next envelope is Christmas, which is getting $27. Now my Christmas envelope is neither in these laminated ones or my wallet. Because I am a part of the savings challenge for the budget mom, I have my envelope in this binder. And I had broken down what my Christmas budget will be. So it's broken down by the month. So in 11 months, I plan on stuffing $105 each month to reach my savings goal, which is about $26 each paycheck. So that's going in this envelope right here. Based on my budget, I'm gonna be stuffing $27 into this envelope. So I just made two hole punches here and we're just gonna put today's date and put that we're putting $27. So 20, five, six, and seven. So this is the envelope that I'm using for my Christmas savings. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably gonna have questions about that binder. Let me know if you do have questions. I can share more about it in the description box down below. It's just a part of a course that I am a part of for the budget mom. So now moving on, date night is getting $27. And I believe that that is in my wallet. So we're gonna move in my wallet and I have everything labeled here. It's not in alphabetical order. <laughs> it probably should be, but oh well. Date night is here and currently there's no money in here because I have not been stuffing this cash envelope in quite some time. So that's one thing that my husband and I really want to plan is to have more date nights. Um, even if it's like a free date night, but we really want to 
make it memorable. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to have like a frugal date night. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. So $27 goes into this cash envelope. The next one is the eating out and that one is here. We have not used this envelope at all either. So we really haven't, we have not gone out to eat in quite some time. Um, well, actually we have because we did have some gift cards that were given to us. So that's been really nice. So $40 is what we have for eating out. So I'm just gonna take the two 20s to stuff this cash envelope. Okay. Home is getting 10. All right, so let's stuff that. So there's $10 in that envelope. Pet is getting $20. So there's currently $30 in pet. This is for like, you know, their food, if we see anything that we wanna buy them. Um, that's what we use this envelope for. Spending is getting 30. So what we are now doing with our spending funds is we're breaking it down, my husband's money and then my money. So my husband, he does not use cash envelopes. So he's just gonna put this in his wallet. So I'm just gonna set that aside but I do have my wallet, so I'm gonna put this $15 in here. And you know what? I don't even know how much. So 10, 20, so I have $30 currently in my spending envelope. Okay, and toiletries is getting $10. So I have not used this envelope in quite some time actually. All right, so that's it for my wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and move that aside. Last one is vacation. So that's this envelope and that's getting $20. All right. So now my cash envelopes are all stuffed and we are ready to go with our finances. That is everything for today's budget video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about how I laid this out, how I broke down my budget. I'd be more than happy to answer any of the questions that you have. So I hope to catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys.